Welcome to UCTV News. My name is Abby Mace. And I'm Nick Serrano. Find out how you can let prospective UConn students know how much you love your school. Coming up next. Georgia plans to execute its first female prisoner in 20 years. 47-year-old Kelly Renee Gissendanner was convicted of a February 1997 murder plot against her husband. Gissendanner was having an affair with 43-year-old Gregory Owen and conspired to have her husband, Douglas Gissendanner, killed. Gissendanner has exhausted all state and federal appeals. The State Board of Pardons and Paroles will consider a clemency request this Tuesday. Huskies football is making a buzz in the NFL Combine. UConn cornerback Byron Jones made history this Monday in the Combine, setting a historic broad jump record of 12 feet 3 inches and might have even set a world record in the process. The 6'1", nearly 199-pound athlete also high-jumped 44 and a half inches, a half an inch off the Combine's best mark. The UConn men's ice hockey team dropped to 10th place in the hockey standings after being swept by New Hampshire this weekend, trailing 5-1 Saturday night and 4-1 Friday. The Huskies were outshot 44-25 in the loss Saturday night, but standout sophomore Rob Nichols made 39 saves in net. UConn will close out the regular season next Friday night against the last place UMass at the XL Center in Hartford at 7.05 p.m. Wow, dropped down to 10th place. I know, they were in 7th at one point, I think a few weeks earlier. But, you know, Hockey East is a competitive conference. Yeah, and better. It's tough. Yep, and it's not easy. they're still in it, though. There's... They're not last. Right, so. right. Let's hope they can use the transition. <laughs> Coming up. A study in the Wall Street Journal showed that March is the most popular month for people to check into gyms on Facebook. Students and officials here at UConn say they've seen a similar pattern on campus. 